Oh, hello. Good evening. I'm your host, Robert Jensen, on Supersonic Sight Documentaries. Tonight we'll be discussing the theories of visual representation and interpersonal communication. Nature is full of signs. Insects colored so that they warn predators to stay away. Camouflage that herbivores and carnivores alike use to aid their eternal quest for food. But it takes a certain amount of sentience to be able to transform signs and signals into symbols. A certain type of intelligence to arrange certain meaning to the twitches in a head and to the movements of a human being. Here we see the youthful naivete of Richard Garner. This child has not yet learned to see beyond simple images. Perhaps had Richard paid more attention to the shadowy tree, he might have seen the danger that lurked within. Any normal society would have taught Richard Garner that wearing a scuba mask on your face when you are not diving is indeed a sign of insanity and danger. Had poor Richard been trained in the art of visual representation, perhaps he might have been aware of the impending disaster. The madman in the trees sees the red on Trevor's truck, and this represents to him that the child is out for blood. His reasoning may be faulty, but the visual indicators of the child have already spoken volumes of the mysterious tree man. Richard Garner mistakenly interpreted the man's frailing gestures as a sign of affection or a desire of friendship, and so rose to greet the man in a somewhat traditional, friendly fashion. This, however, only incited the tree man's rage further. The simple waving hands and up and down motion was seen as an attempt at intimidation, and the tree man threatened attacked and savagely beat Richard Garner before he was apprehended by the police and taken to Sefton Asylum where he served 15 months as criminally insane. Perhaps some of my viewers back home are misunderstanding my representation of the previous content as an attempt at grandstanding and promoting my Emmy-nominated documentary, The Object Glares Back, now out on DVD in all major commercial stores for $14.99, in which I demonstrate how amazing I am at pretty much everything, including interpersonal communications. Ain't that when examining the incident with the mad tree man, and Richard Garner, we must remind ourselves of the two systems of representation that Hall mentions in his work. Mental representation and linguistical representation. Mental representation, of course, being the images that certain symbols provoke in our minds. And linguistical representation, of course, being our ability to share these different mental meanings of complex signs with other people. Culture after all, is nothing but the codes of communication and translation between two different mental representations between two different entities. Cut. You listen to me, right? I don't give a darn about any standing contracts with the union. This cameraman is completely inept. He, he doesn't understand the importance of anything that we put in front of his stupid lens and... Turn off the camera. Turn off the camera. Next time, the search for Bigfoot. Excuse me, sir. Sir, are you Bigfoot? Sir. Sir, are you Bigfoot? Sir. <laughs> sir. Sir. The truth is out there.